What is up guys? My name is Mark Samaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog. Actually, this is a race vlog. We're heading out to Thornhill RC Racing Circuit down in Hutto, Texas for the RC Pro Series South Round 3. We're getting back into race mode, guys. I know I've done a lot of bashing content the last few videos. Uh, yeah, we're going into racing mode. The next two months, I've got three big races, so should be a really good time. But we're about to head out. I think I'm all packed up. I'm going to go over what I pack so I make sure I don't forget anything. It's just as much for me as it is for you guys. On the tone. So yeah, really it's make sure you have your cars, radio, batteries, which my batteries are in there. I'll double check. Tires. And you should be good to go. Everything else you can get down there. It, if worse comes to worse, again, the RC community is super generous. They'll let you bum off some stuff, but you gotta, you gotta at least try to bring your stuff. So yeah, my car's over there. Tools, pitting stuff. Oh, canopy. Thornhill has pitting area, but if I get there too late and I don't have pitting area, I can set up my own. I got a table under all that stuff. Yeah, tire spares are back there. I make sure I have spares. So there's another box back in that corner that has all my like oils, uh, spare charger, everything. So those I put all the way to the back of the truck because I don't typically use that stuff. They're there just in case. In the ice chest, these peaches, amazing. Anyways, I try to pack a little healthy because I do get track food. I do like, enjoy track food, but I mean, you're gonna do up to nine meals at the track. You can't do track food all the time. So I bought some stuff to make some sandwiches. This is our goodie bag, candies, and organic fruit snacks. Obviously fruit, you wanna eat somewhat healthy. You wanna stay energized and get that healthy energy. Lots of drinks down there, lots of water. I bought my Sun Dr. Peppers, and then I like unsweet teas. But yeah, we're ready to go. I'm, uh, let's, let's go and head down there. Oh, finally, I asked my son what he wants for lunch. Usually it's the go-to is a Whataburger or Chick-fil-A. He finally chose somewhere good. We're gonna eat the Revolving Sushi Bar <laughs> for lunch on the way out to the race. Uh, if you've never been to a Revolving Sushi Bar, they're pretty freaking cool. And uh, this kid thinks that he's gonna do a challenge to see if he can eat, break the record on eating as many California rolls as possible. But check this place out. All right, so I gotta do this quick because they got music going and it's between songs. But basically this thing revolves and usually there's plates right here. Now they're just using this top thing. You order your food off this little screen. The food comes up and you grab it off. Hopefully our food's coming soon. But what's cool is, depending on how many plates you order, see this plate count right here? After you get your food, you drop your plate in this little slot and this plate count goes up. And then whenever you get to 15 plates, it drops down a toy. Um, yeah, it's good and bad. It like rewards you for eating a lot. <laughs> but, oh, we're so stoked. We're so hungry. Something coming. Oh, it stopped. Oh, God. I missed, <laughs> I missed the delivery. Here's some sushi. Okay, here's, here comes some more. Let's see where this one's going. This one looks like, oh, is it is it coming? Oh, it stopped early. Come on, here it comes, here it comes. It's flying down. That's ours. We got some ramen and some chicken. Ooh, yes. Oh, we're so full. All right, now next stop, Thornhill, I promise. Oh my God, hopefully I don't fall asleep though. I'm so full. Sucks, guys. Look, I got my cars in park. There's no one moving anywhere. Uh, there's always. What is that? Look. Hello. There's What's always uh, traffic in Waco, Texas, on 35, and we are at a dead stop. I'm debating on getting out and getting drinks out of the back of the truck, but this is really sucks. Been an hour delay so far. All right, guys, we made it, but it hasn't. The weekend hasn't started well, not at all. I actually blew a charger already. I don't know what happened. It just went out. My Traxxas live charger just completely went out. It won't power up anymore. I actually talked to Traxxas right when it happened. They're not sure. They're gonna look at it. But luckily, I brought my backup charger, my ISDT charger, that small one. That should be able to hold me out for the weekend just fine. But. It's not a good thing. Maybe I can get all the uh, the bugs and all the crazy stuff out of the way and maybe this weekend will be good. So I haven't even seen the track yet. I'm gonna show you guys the track while I look at the track. So we'll get to look at it together. Let's go check this thing out. Sorry, a lot of wind here. So yeah, that charger blew. This cord is bad. 
I couldn't get it to bounce. Oh my gosh, it's just a nightmare. But it's okay, we're charging right now, we got it fixed. Heading out to the track. There's my son. There's the kid that he wants to make sure he beats. That's PT Oil, son. Oh, look at this beautiful track. B-E-A, beautiful track. Look at this thing. All right, let's, let's analyze this track. I'll tell you what my thoughts are right when I see it. That far corner, I hate that corner over there. It's really hard to see over there, but you just kind of got to rip it and just hope that it works. That part doesn't look hard. That doesn't look bad. This is going to be cool because you can look right down that, so you should be able to go pretty fast there. It's going to be hard to judge your speed there, though. Also, that back corner. I mean, look how far the drivers are. Oh, look, they have little, little barriers. Look how far the drivers are. So you can imagine even that back corner is pretty bad. And then this right here, you're basically going to go super fast, slam into the face of this jump and go. <sighs> the good thing is I already have my setup for this track, so I'm just going to put that setup on it. And don't laugh at me, but all I do on this track is I increase my sweep in the front. So when I increase my sweep, what that does is that shifts the front arms back a little bit and it adds uh, front toe out, front toe out. And it makes the car just almost react faster or turn faster. I don't know, it works. Uh, Tyler Hooks, he's the techno team manager. This is his home track. And we were talking about sweep one day and he told me he runs full sweep. I gave it a shot and it was like, wow, it was a game changer. It's like. It basically is exactly how I want my car to handle. So along with sweep, I'll probably uh, adjust my radio and then I should be good. I mean, granted, God, my battery charger, that sucks. All right, while well, I'm waiting for my batteries to charge, man, I'm really bent out about my battery charger. I'll show you guys around. So we don't typically pit in this area. Usually this is like uh, like warm up, staging and warm up, but this guy's just picking his nose right on the camera, dude. No, no fear picking his nose. Um, but usually we pit in there, and it's usually air conditioned. Hey, what's up, dude? How are you, man? Hello, man. I left them hanging on accident. Santos right there. Um, usually they pit in here, but there's no one in there because it's 800 degrees. I guess they usually have an AC unit in there. Uh, no AC unit in there. It is completely empty. Check it out. So I rushed up here to get a spot in here. They didn't have one. Luckily, I found one out here. Oh, there's a lot of spots. See, that would have been perfectly fine. Those are like a uh, cool story about these. These were brought in, I believe the stories, they were brought in as like hurricane relief pods. They were supposed to be really, really strong. Whenever the hurricane hit Texas, uh, South Texas a while back. And now people rent these out and they, they actually fit in there. They're super cool. There's like little beds and everything in there. So, all right. All right, guys, we got a, we got a new exclusive, new Kyosho MP10 e-buggy. Look at this thing. My God, it's clean. So Kyosho, they've always been kind of the pioneers when it comes to like uh, geometry. You'll see for a while, basically people were just copying Kyosho. They were running Kyosho shocks. And now people are starting to catch up. But Kyosho is now making newer things. Look at this, this is cool. The motor actually faces the other direction. It's like they got the balance down, but this buggy is absolutely beautiful. He's got the matching nitro buggy. I love these split towers. Oh my God. Has he even ran this thing? We're gonna look under it. Oh, he hasn't even ran it. I mean, it is new, new. So if you wanna see what the most expensive e-buggy on the planet looks like, it's probably this one right here. He's got all the most expensive stuff. He didn't spare any, any price. Whew, that thing is clean, wow. That, I really truly think that is, that might be the most expensive e-buggy of all time. Guys, as I'm checking his cars out, I just realized he showed me up in a GoPro department too. Look at this, he's got the new, oh man, this guy just showed me up all the way. Dang it, he's a YouTuber also. He's, his channel's probably gonna be bigger than mine soon or bigger than mine already, one of those two. Dang all right, it. there's one thing that makes me feel better about my stuff going out. God, that charger going out sucks. It's shopping, dude. We buy another charger, it's not so bad. They got a little shop here, let's go check out what's in here. Ooh, oh, someone's behind me. Oh, it's my son. Oh, they got a whole bunch of stuff. All right, chargers, 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 chargers. 
Let's see. Chargers, chargers. There's the little eye charger. Let's see what we got here. Anything, I'm not ever getting a high tech charger again. Oh, look, this is, I think this is the one that uh, charges on top. You can put it on top of your, uh, your phone on top. Oh man, I think that's gonna happen, guys. I think that's gonna happen. Ah! All right, I'm probably gonna get it. All right, guys, I got this charger. I didn't want it. He sold it to me because he made he made me buy it. No, I need I need it anyways. I'm gonna need to charge more batteries. <laughs> um, I had to get these adapters. This is the newer one, like the ISD charger that I have it on my desk. It's kind of like it, but now it can charge your your phone up top. See, I've been wanting one of these, and they had it, and I don't have to wait for it. And now I have it. And what better time to buy it? Oh, look at it. He's trying to sell it to you guys now. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can, can pick this thing up. It's actually pretty cool. It's an AC charger, 300 watt AC charger, which is super high. And I think it charges at 30 amps. 30 amps. So maybe 15 amps per side, which is amazing. You just have to get these, these connectors, which not a big deal. So charger blue, but I got a new charger, which is good. See, things are already turning around, guys. The weekend's getting better. Oh, what a nightmare, guys. So basically that charger stopped working because I don't know it like it wouldn't charge over 0.2 amps which <clears throat> not sure what happened there so I got that charger that charger is charging but it doesn't I guess it doesn't regulate how many amps it's charging at so it just basically airs out if you charge it over like if you go over wattage which is super lame so I don't really have time to mess with it right now I'm trying to get on the track so I'm just charging it at a low amp amp rate not using as much watts so golly what a nightmare this is uh probably one of the uh, yeah not not a good start for me for this weekend guys i can't make this up look at that you see that this battery has one bad cell dang it <laughs> first charger problems now battery cell problems it's got two two cells at 4.2 three cells at 4.2 and then the four cell is at 4.1 it might be okay to run. I'm gonna run it anyway, cycle it. Golly, this weekend sucks. <sighs> All right, guys, it's been a crazy day. So the, the count is two chargers, one bad battery, one charging lead. Yeah, it has not been a good day. We've been, uh, now we're trying to figure out where, we're, where our room is. Checking in here, digital keys. All right, add to that a bad room key too. God, like I cannot make this up. We walked up with our digital key, it didn't work. We had to walk over to the desk again. And then <laughs> there was there was a sign saying that they weren't gonna be back for a while. And as I was like, dang, this is ridiculous. Someone came out. So yeah, it hasn't been the best day, but I will tell you one thing. It's like, it's like one of those people, the football players who have really bad games, but they have that one awesome pass. That one point tonight, me and my son, I was actually racing a car on the track. We were side by side and it turned out to be my son. So we did about two laps side by side. That was freaking awesome and that made it all worth it. So still looking forward to this weekend. It started off crappy, but it's gonna end really well. I know it is. So hope you liked this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Oh, and big shout out to all the people I met today. Thanks for coming out and reaching out. That's awesome. Later guys.